She's a queen. Ooh, ooh, what a natural beauty. No need no makeup to be a cutie. She's a queen. She's a queen. And when they ask what a good woman's made of, she's not. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's another real talk with sexy Russ. Well, guys, today I'm going to talk about how I lost my child father in a car accident and how painful it was. I always tell people that anybody that died and you love them, you learn to live without them, but the pain never go away. The pain never, never go away. Well, guys, my first daughter, her father passed away when she was four years old. He died in a car accident and honestly that was that was very very painful at the moment we weren't together i was on my third baby and we were we weren't together but we had that level of respect for each other you know and i realized a lot of mother and father when they break up it's as if they're beasts they're beasts you know they want to, mothers want to use the child to get to the father. The father wants to use the child to get to the mother. And you know, no peace, no unity, nothing. They don't even care about the child. All they care about the, the old stupid feelings. And to me, that's wrong. But my child father and I, we had, uh, we had an understanding, you know. And not an understanding. When I was pregnant with my daughter, father got resident. When I was pregnant with my daughter, he treated me bad. I can't say that because I'm not lying. I'm telling the honest truth. He treated me really, really bad, you know, and he lived with that. He lived with that. From the moment I made my daughter, he never turned his back on her. He never, ever turned his back on her. He stands strong as a man and take care of his daughter. But sexy Russ just cannot forgive somebody that, can hurt me so bad you know that was my first boyfriend in school i left school i got pregnant for him and you know he treated me really really bad for my first pregnancy he treated me bad so i couldn't have forgive him not only for me but for my daughter you know and you know he lived with that and he died and i never forgave him you know so guys it was nothing easy it was nothing nice Worse to see your daughter look like him. You know, your daughter look like him. And your daughter would have gotten the best life. My daughter still get the best life. You understand? Because his mother only had him. And he only had her. So his, the, his mother took full responsibility of my daughter when he passed away. But guys, let me get into it. And let, let me tell you about the tragic moment. Okay? Well... I was, as I told you, I was pregnant with my last daughter and my child father called me one day and tell me he's going to the States. He's going to America. His ticket is for one month. Okay. From the time he told me he's going to America, my heart, like I was feeling away, you know, I was feeling like a depression mode. So for me alone, I said as, you know, mood swing during pregnancy. So when he called me and he told me we're going to America, I told him, okay. Okay, time passed, time passed, he went to America. While he was in America, he called me and he told me, Yvette, um, I love my daughter too much to spend a month away from her. So he came back. Yes, he said he's going to come back. So he only spent two weeks and he came back. Now when he came back, you know, oh my God, he brought things for that child so much. He had Air Force One, the child had Air Force One. He had skinny jeans, the child had skinny jeans. You saw it's a boy, I had a, a girl I had. You know, he have his white, um, his white t-shirt. She has her white tight t-shirt, you know? Like he was, he was, he was a real deal. Honestly, he was a real deal. Now, when he came back to St. Lucia, um, apparently he was looking for my daughter's passport. So... The Friday, no, the Thursday, he called me because he wanted to surprise me. So, I, like, the first day he called me, tell me, even the Friday is Junior Creole in the school. Well, Junior Creole is a Creole festival we held in St. Lucia, right? 
it's uh, you know our culture our heritage you know so they normally celebrate it in the school and then we have the big event on the weekend so he called me tell me Yvette you have to come and comb Jessica's hair so she can go to school Friday and uh, you know he brought some stuff from me from um from America I can come and collect it as well so I tell him I'm not feeling that well so I cannot come today I will come on Saturday the Friday morning I woke up crying crying I was feeling like I was going to lose somebody I never felt that way towards that boy you understand because I have a hard heart when I give up on you I give up on you when I don't love you I don't love you but he always you know he always believed like he owe me something you know so he always believed like he always checking for me and people always thought I was sleeping with him but God is my weakness from the time I broke up with that guy, I never slept with him. Honestly, we never had sexual intercourse. So, he used to tell people I'm his wife. And no matter what, he will always check for his child mother. You know, because he don't want to never see me in the state he had put me in. So, he lived with that. So, the morning when I wake up, I just feel like, you know, I'm going to lose him or I'm going to lose my daughter. So I call him and I said, um, Dave, you know, I feel like going to lose you and I'm going to lose Jessica, either one of y'all. He tell me you can make 80 children with 80 different men and he will, I can never lose him. You understand? So whole day, they say, by the way, come tomorrow, Saturday, for us to go pizza, pizza with Jessica. And I'm going to give you the things I buy for you. You understand? So I tell him, okay, I going to come. I say the whole Friday I day. The Friday night I cannot sleep. I cannot sleep. I cannot sleep. I cannot sleep. I, I just cannot sleep that Friday. Anyway, the Saturday morning when I woke up, I saw how much missed calls on my phone from my mother. And she also sent credit to my phone. Now the timing she called me around two in the morning, how late? So I say, something wrong. I go and sit on the toilet, you know. So I call, I say, mommy, what's wrong? She tell me, where are you? I say, home. She tell me, what are you doing today? I say, I have to go and see Dave and Jessica. She said, don't go. I come in at your home. She said, give the phone to your boyfriend. So I give the phone to my boyfriend and I hear my boyfriend shouting, oh my God. So I done get vexed already because my mother can tell you why she cannot tell me. So, you know, I say, you see me? I don't care. I go with my child father. I go and go, I go in pizza, pizza. Now, the thing about it, my boyfriend understand the relationship. Because I am not that kind of person to just cheat, 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 cheat. I'm not that kind of person. You understand? And then my daughter used to come over and like the relationship was just there all around. It wasn't just only me. It was there all around. So, I didn't tell him my child, uh, my child father, well, I go in. I go in by Dave. I go in pizza, pizza. And then he say, he bring things for me for the sex and I will want it. So he tell me, Yvette, you really want to know? I say, yes. He say, Yvette, you sure you want to know? I say, yes. The boy tell it to me straight. Not a crooked line. Straight. Dave, die. Hey, God. You all didn't want to see the state of sexy ras. You. You know when people tell you these things, you just have to think. But I didn't think. You know why I didn't think? Because I dream it. I felt it. I told it to him you understand god send that vision for me you god send it you know i told it to him that friday and the monday the sat he died the friday night at 10 o'clock that's why i couldn't have sleep you know that's why i couldn't have sleep you you i cry i cry when i call his mother his mother couldn't have opened her mouth to tell me those words you know you know you i felt like my whole world i don't care what nobody tell me that's my child father that's the first man I had in my life. That's the first man I bet you ran for. I will feel it. And not to say he was a, a no good father. He was a good man to my daughter. And a good man to me. Regardless of what he did. That's up to me that couldn't have forgiven him. But he never turned his back on me from the time I gave, his, gave him his first child. So who can ever tell me I should not cry? Hell no. I should cry. Because that's my damn child father. And I have bloods in my vein. And I have a heart. So what the hell you can tell me I should not cry? People tell me I should not cry on my child father. Hey, 
I find you're too dumb in this street to tell me that. So, as time passed, yes. Going to my child father house now, reaching by Mega J. Yes, Parker, that's where the accident was. That's where the accident happened. Mega J. Because the government put a, a um, concrete block separating the road. You know the separation thing they just put? I don't know. Separating the road. But guess what? They left it open. So the car drives straight in the middle of that block. You understand? The car drives straight there. And the impact break his neck. Kill the driver and the girl at the back survive. All the teeth come out her mouth. But the girl at the back did survive to tell the story. And he died. Yes, he died. That's how that's how my child left fatherless. You know, the same day he got her passport. He was so excited, gone drink. You know? He was so excited from passport to visa. He was so excited, he gone drink. And look, my father, my daughter has to be fatherless. You know, but my God is good. My God is good. And my daughter is strong. And she has a strong mother. And she has a strong family behind her. You know, that she come out to be a perfect young lady. And I love her to my heart. You understand? While going there, the people on the bus, look where the man died last night. You, I started to cry more. Because let me tell you something. That is death. That is not seeing somebody. And I'm not only crying for me and my stupid reasons feelings i'm crying for my daughter knowing my daughter have to grow up without a father that loved her you that that touching me i'm so sorry that part <sighs> sorry i'm getting emotional i'm seriously i'm getting emotional give me a second guys yes guys i am back you know so when i reach when i reach by my child father's home Everybody was there. You, I just run and hold my daughter because I just know she was small. She didn't understand what was going on, but I just run and I just hold my daughter and I kiss my daughter with tears coming down my face. You just knowing how much she's going to miss out that love. Mate was going all out for that child. Anybody that watching my blog and know that man can comment and say i'm not lying you understand but her grandmother stood by her side his mother boy i get a lady badge i get a lady crown i get a lady everything you that lady you raised my daughter never asked me for a dollar never jessica he died when she was four and my daughter is 14 years old going to a very good well, secondary school in St. Lucia, but high school in America. You understand? In American terms. You know? And this, you, my daughter, I love my daughter. I have an open relationship with my daughter. My, never, my daughter never give me a reason to doubt her up to now. My daughter getting married. Hmm? My daughter is a loving child. Her grandmother stood by her. Her grandmother raised her. You know? Oh my God, my God is good. My God, no, I couldn't have do it by myself. God, no, I didn't have the strength to do that by myself. Knowing my daughter growing in the image of her father. I always tell people, don't take people for granted in life. Learn to forgive, learn to forgive you. Don't wait for when they die for you to forgive them. Learn to forgive because that is something I live in with because I cannot tell it to him. You know, I cannot tell you. Yes, when I'm going through hard times in my life, I would not lie to tell people. When I'm going through real, real hard times in my life, I will go to his graveyard and talk to him like he's, a, like he's there. You know, because he was my first. You know, you will always remember your first. You will always remember your first, no matter what. You will always remember your first. You know, and I will always remember him. Don't take people for granted. You know, don't do it. If God can forgive you, you can forgive people. You don't have to be with them. You don't have to associate yourself back. But you can forgive them, be the bigger person and forgive them. You know, 
anyway guys that topic is really hitting me hard hard sorry so please subscribe to my channel and please tap that notification bell guys to get more real talk slash story time with sexy raf bye bye bless up island peeps